Hello guys and welcome to Squidgy Face Plays and as the title suggests I've got a tree capitator command mod thing for you. Now I'm going to take all of these out of the chest because they needed to show you something. So if we go outside and we find a tree. So hi Mr. Buddy. So we found a bunch of trees as if by magic like I almost planted them myself. And we break the bottom block, nothing happens. Now, this is intentional because what if you didn't want to use tree capital? What if you had a building and you ha your main structure was, you know, oak wood or birch wood or something? And obviously, it's going to cause a lot of problems for you if you were to have this enabled. So, what? How you enable this and disable? So you get any axe. So it can be literally any axe. You drop it on the floor. And it'll activate tree capitator as it says in the bottom tree capitator enabled and that stays on the screen whilst it's enabled so therefore you always know that it's tree capitator is on so you don't accidentally you know use it and if you throw it down again like you just saw and pick it up again it will turn it off now this works with any pickaxe you can throw any uh, pickaxe or any axe on the floor and it'll do the same so now let's get into obviously tree capitator itself now it doesn't destroy the leaf blocks they need to decay naturally, but it does delete the actual wood blocks themselves. Now, I am working on a way for it to actually destroy the leaf blocks too, but I'm, I'm, cur like I said, I'm currently working on that. So as you can see, it works with literally every type of tree and it works flawlessly. It's took every part of that log down every single one it works on every single one that you can think of and in my opinion it's pretty flawless now they're just the single trees they like the single log trees there's obviously other types of trees which has had to be changed slightly so the acacia trees yeah they're a bit weirdly shaped but again it does work mostly you may have the one or two like blocks there that like straggles off to the to the side but again i don't really i'm trying to tweak it to try and get those to work as well but it is a bit hard now for the most part they do all work but these obviously are detached branches which it's harder to do so yeah that's those and again with like say the big oak like the dark oak trees the main log itself should go, but I'm not sure about the individual ones at the side. Like, I have done it so most of it goes. I don't know why it doesn't all go like that. It's probably, I don't know, it's, it's really confusing. It happens with the other two as well, but you just need to do that, and it does that. Pretty much done. There you go. Get rid of that there, get rid of that there, there. and then we're going to do that, and perfect. Pretty much, I think that is a really well you know a well you well, i can't even think of the word like it is a good tool to have and especially if you want it in your survival game because it will work perfectly in like a multiplayer survival situation now onto the big daddy of all trees which is the one and only jungle tree now as per the um the dark oak it won't take all of the bottom ones out so if i take this corner out it'll keep the other corners but then it won't take the stragglers off either which is the downside to this now i could expand the region that it takes away but the problem is if you're in a tight-knit situation it's going to take things away from the side of this and it's just it's not fair for it to happen so i will work on improving that so keep your eyes peeled for that but for the most part this command works perfectly fine and almost every time look how high that one actually went that went really high up so this worked really freaking well on you know on a normal survival situation now it's not just set up for these locations like before like people saying oh well you might have set those up blah 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 no it worked anywhere and to prove that i'm just going to run across over here somewhere and find some random trees so here we have a tree oh and also just pointing out it'll only go from whichever block you go upwards so if i take say the tree down from say this one it'll go from that one upwards if i go from, one, from that one upwards 
and so on. Um, so yeah, that is the tree capitator thing. But also, again, if you didn't want the tree capitator to work... Oh, actually, I will point out, these big oak trees, these do not work too well. Now, I will show you. I'll take this out. See what I mean? It does not work too well. I will work on improving that for the big oak trees. But for now, I'm sorry. It just doesn't work. So if I disable the tree capitator by throwing an axe on the floor. And the text should fade as you see. Um, let me find another tree now. So if I find this tree. So there we go. It just doesn't work. Because it's been turned off. So if I throw it onto the floor again. And there we go. It's enabled. Do that. Boom. Tree capitator works again like that. If you really, really like this, then please, guys, smash that like button for me because I worked quite hard on this command, especially to have, like, the whole feature of it turning on and off and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to turn it off, and then we're going to go into the command room, and I will show you the command itself. Now, I am working on some other, like, other mods and turn them into commands. So if you want that, don't forget... Again, smash the like button, subscribe, tell people about it. So, this is the where it gets a bit confusing. So, this is the this is the only way I could do it. So it could turn on and off, if that makes sense. So it wasn't always on. So we're going to start with these here, these five um, blocks here. This is one block for every type of axe there is. Because that's like that's the activator essentially. So if I was to throw this on the floor, you'd see that light up and it activates all that. And now the tree capitator is on. If I throw this down again, it'll do exactly the same. But this time it'll get turned off and it's all off. And it works for any axe there is. And it works perfectly every time. So let's get into it. So the first set of Oh wait, I'm in survival. <laughs> I need to be in creative. There we go. So first off, we've got execute at e type equals item name, name equals wooden axe, tilde, 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 test for at p r equals five. So that's this axe with a, with a player in the radius of five blocks from the axe, right? So that's pretty much got you covered. Even if you throw it like, all right, <laughs> that didn't work. Even if you throw it pretty far away, it's still got you covered. Um... And as for all of these, they are literally the same, just with the different axe names changed into them. So Ironstone, Golden Axe, and Diamond Axe. Okay, so they're all exactly the same. So then they're all going to go into comparators, which are going into blocks. They're basically going to set a redstone block over here. Now, this is pretty simple. Just set block and where you want it to, which is in my case, it's here. So set block to that location, redstone underscore block. That simple. All of these are identical. They're all the same. They're all that same one. Here we've got a very similar one that we've seen before, which is set block tilde tilde one air. And then that's going to set this block to air as soon as a redstone signal hits it. So now we're going to go into the redstone part of this. Now keep in mind, I am not a redstone builder engineer person so if this is really rubbish redstone i apologize i'm no good with redstone at all this is the easiest and simplest t flip flop i could think of doing so if there's a better and easier way to do it than this then let me know um so i'm going to go through the me building this for you in a second so i will just like grab that and grab that so oh christ so what we've got now is a comparator going in to a repeater i've put the repeater on full just because well it gives it more time because the bedrock edition is a bit yeah yeah laggy <laughs> then we've got a t flip flop here with a comparator going out and i'll show you how to build this t flip flop now so we've got a dropper facing upwards right then a dropper facing out then we've got another dropper facing in to this one facing upwards so it's like one big circuit almost right then we've got the hopper going straight in to the one there so it's literally one big circular thing uh, and then all we need to do is in just one of these just put 
um, a single item like that. So I'm, it doesn't matter what item it is. It just needs to be an item. Um, if I just grab myself a comparator quick. So then what you can do is then get a bouton. Bouton. <laughs> oh, that's not a bouton. That's a boat. So if we get ourselves a button and we press this onto here, it's going to activate the comparator, right? So then when we press it again, it'll deactivate the comparator. And it kind of works as a switch. I think that's what a T flip flop is intended to do, isn't it? Like it turns like a button input type thing to a switch. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is the simplest one I know how to make. Um, and that's what I've built here. So we've got the comparator going out into a repeater because the signal would not be strong enough without it. And then a bunch of redstone going across, a bunch of different, um, I can't even think what they're called, <laughs> repeaters going into the command blocks. And then each command block is a different type of wood. So, okay, that's dark oak and that's acacia. Okay, okay, so them two are slightly different to the rest. Okay, all right, so oak wood is pretty simple execute at e type equals item name equals oak wood tilde 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 detect tilde tilde one tilde log minus one fill tilde tilde one tilde 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 nine tilde air okay make sure that's destroyed as well otherwise you won't get your block back from when you destroy it now that's pretty much the basis of this command now if you didn't want to do all of this fancy setup like i have done you literally just need these commands repeating. Now, I will show you each of these commands. So, there's the oak one, like I said. Now, the spruce is identical, except I've just changed oak wood to spruce wood. And then we've got birch wood, exactly the same. It's, you know, exactly the same. And then this is where it changes slightly with these three. So, first off, jungle, what this is doing is doing like a bigger radius of how much of the log to destroy hence why it destroys all of the bigger logs if that makes sense um so what that then does is where it says like minus one one minus one and then one nine one that's basically just the area of how much it destroys right that's pretty simple jungle wood detect log minus one fill it's exactly the same as the other part except for that fill bit is slightly a bigger radius it's the same with acacia wood and the same with dark oak but here's the difference with dark oak and acacia wood instead of having that as log that's going to be log two because acacia and dark oak are classed as log two not just log right so make sure you have that as log and log two i will keep i will put all these in the description so don't worry about that so, like, if you're confused at any point and you're like, oh, my God, he's going too fast, he's going too fast. These will all be in the, in, the, in the description so you have it. So, all of these are your trees. And then this very last one at the end, this is, an, this is just literally saying tree capitator enabled. That's literally it. Title at A, action bar, tree capitator enabled. The reason why it's there is just because it's just easier. It's, it's at the bottom of your screen. You know it's there. And that's it. That's literally how easy this command... Well, it seems complicated, but it's, it's genuinely an easy command to learn. It's not a big deal, really. Um, I will say, when it comes to this bit here, you do need that to be a repeater, not a comparator, because if you don't put the repeater there, it won't give the proper input, because you want this input to go up and to the side, if that makes sense. You want to repeat all the way through. Yeah, it's confusing. But make sure you do that. And that is it. Like, yeah, that's, that's literally it. That's all there is for this episode. Um, I did say to you guys, actually, I was working on the leaves, which is what these are. Um, I'm not going to go into that now. But if you want an, a follow-up video to this for a more, like, a lot better version of this command that destroys the leaves too, destroys, you know, everything, let me know. I will work my hard. If you honestly want me to do a much better version of this command... I really think this is a great command, and this will be going into my survival, like, multiplayer server. But if you think I could do better, if you think this could be made better, let me know. And I will try my utmost best to make this a hell of a lot better. Anyway, guys, as always, I've been Squidgy Face Plays. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
and I will see you again in the next one. Bye! Oh, God, no, no, I just, just oh, for God's sake.